A crowd gathered outside of Premier Doug Ford's constituency office in Etobicoke tonight, upset over the Speaker of the House's ban of the kafia. As Emily Taylor tells us, protesters are demanding the Premier do more. Tensions from Queen's Park have spilled out onto the streets now with dozens of people arriving at Doug Ford's constituency office in Etobicoke this evening. Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Dozens of people with signs and Palestinian flags descended on Premier Ford's office, all donning a kafia. It's a traditional Arab scarf at the center of controversy at Queen's Park this week. We've been wearing it for the past hundreds of 100, 200 years. We're not going to stop now because a politician does not like it. Speaker of the House Ted Arnott banned the scarves earlier this month, saying it is a political statement tied to the Israel-Hamas war. Conservative MPPs voted again this week to uphold the ban. We came to the office of Premier Ford today uh, to tell him a direct message that he needs to speak to his caucus and they need they have had a couple opportunities this week to overturn the motion and allow uh, the kafia to be worn. Um, however, the Conservative caucus uh, continues to block any motions. Then yesterday, Hamilton Centre Independent MPP Sarah Jama defied the Speaker's orders to remove the scarf and refused to leave the legislature. Jama was not at the protest tonight, though many voiced their support for her. The official opposition leader, Marit Stiles, shared a video message tonight as well, calling on Ford to reverse the ban. We decided to give the government until May 6 to reverse this unjust rule or expect us and the community to defy the ban. Earlier this week, the premier called on the speaker to remove the ban, but said his caucus can vote however they choose. But protesters with the Ontario Federation of Labour say he has the power to do more. If you want to say that you think it's a bad idea, then you have the ability, like every premier does, to instruct your caucus to make sure this ends today. Premier Doug Ford's office turned down CHCH CH News for an interview today, saying that his stance from earlier this week still stands. He says he does not support the speaker's ban of the kafia and has asked him to reverse it. But of course, people here are asking for more. Back to you.